Hey guys, thanks for coming to my channel today and um, watching my process. I'm going to be working with this picture that you see on my table and I really, really love the, the colors in the photograph and I'm going to be using the colors in the photograph as the inspiration for the pattern paper that I'm going to be choosing today. So the majority of the paper, if not all of it, comes from a variety of different hip kits that I've received in the past few months. And I tend to find that I mix my kits together as I start to use them up. And that's kind of what's happening here today with, with my supplies. So I'm taking that piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and I'm sizing it down about a quarter of an inch. I have prepped the paper with some uh, solid gesso. And now I'm just gonna put it on that paper. I think I'm gonna decide that I wanna take another quarter of an inch off all the way around just so that I can see that striped paper a little bit more easily because that striped paper really does, like I said, it's it does provide the accents for the the colors that are in that photograph. The, the picture just has beautiful reds and yellows and some kind of aqua colors in the background and then the scarves that the girls are wearing in the photograph are really multicolorful as well. So this picture is a photograph that my daughter um, took when she was on a trip. And this particular photograph is taken in the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. And that is the reason why I chose the title that I did as I um, create the rest of the layout here, you'll see it. Having a little bit of trouble with my adhesive. And I think what I did was when I ch went to change the uh, the refill, I ended up throwing away a vital part <laughs> of the of the dispenser and at least that's what my husband tells me it's missing so I am um, end up using my ATG for the rest of this layout. So I'm going to use gelatos today. I haven't used my gelatos for a while and I love them. They're so much fun to work with and they're a very very easy way to add some color to your layout and of course the cool thing about that is you can create whatever colors you want so i just went into my stash and found colors that were going to complement the photograph and the layout and be a nice complement to the pattern paper that i chose for the layout as well so just put some down there and add some spritz some water on and what i really want is to try to get them to move and to drip down the paper and just create that that dripped effect. The problem is you end up saturating your paper quite a bit here doing this with with the water and it does warp the paper. So what I did to fix that problem was I stuck my whole layout down to some heavier kind of cardboard type paper. So I'm going to just do some layering with my photograph and I really love this gold foil uh, polka dot paper and I'm going to put it onto some black just so that it pops off the layout a little bit and just gives the the photograph more of a makes the photograph more of a focal point which always is my goal when I'm scrapbooking is to make sure that the the photo doesn't get lost in in all of the supplies that that I use on the the layout which actually can happen pretty darn easily so um, especially you know a layout like this when I'm putting a lot of different products on there so I'm gonna take a stencil I can't really remember what stencil this is I'm not 100% sure but I really like it I feel like it has a little bit of a flair to it that lends itself to the, the culture that that Bailey's in in this in this um, picture I don't know I just I liked it I thought it had kind of a cool look to it for for the photograph. So I'm just going to use some texture paste. I didn't mix any color with it. I just want white on there and that way that uh, texture paste is just going to provide another little bit of texture obviously to the layout and, and give it a little bit more of um, dimension and lift and I'm just going to pop that around the layout here and there and just so that it'll be uh, part of the very visible parts of the layout once the the photograph is on there with the mat that I'm going to create for the photo. So I'm just going to finish up with that and I'm going to try to add a few other little bits of mixed media on here but I think I end up changing my mind here too. So I think I was going to add some Heidi Swap color shine onto some of those texture uh, paste pieces but it ends up not really 
being fluid enough for what I wanted to do. I try to add a little bit of water with my aqua brush, but <clears throat> if you'll notice here, <laughs> it decides to take a wrong turn. Anyways, I didn't really like how that looked, so I just took it off with some paper towel. Simple enough just to get rid of it. So that was a little bit of an experiment that failed. So that's all good. I just thought I'd let you watch me do that. <laughs> Have that moment of failure in there. Uh, so I decided, oh, well, I really like that peach color. I'm going to just splatter some of it on there. And the um, thing with gelato is that that I notice is that um, if you have the things that you add on top of it don't aren't then that doesn't it's no longer really porous and it doesn't really dry very well uh, Heidi the Heidi swap color shine I find is a little bit sticky so it's it doesn't go on top of the gelato super super well but but anyways it's fine so now I just take some different papers that I find complement the the layout and the photograph and make a bit of a, a layer there using some of those papers and a little bit more of that vellum with the gold in it. And you can see that I've also added a few acetate triangles around the layout as well. I think I put four on there and those are from Pink Fresh Studios. And I'm not usually a fan of acetate, but I actually really liked these, these triangles. I thought they were really cool. And they go really nicely with that that collection obviously that we got in in the hip kit and yeah it's just really neat neat papers and and stuff with that with that collection for sure so anyways i used those acetate triangles on here because they were the, definitely the right colors for for what i was going for here so i just stuck them down i actually used matte medium on those and i find that i really like to use matte medium on acetate just because it it dries transparent and you can't see it um, when you when you look at those acetate pieces so I'm just popping that up a little bit with a little bit of foam tape and just want to give the the photograph a little bit of a lift off the layout there a little bit oh there you see I'm adding I thought I'd already stuck them down so now I'm just gonna add that matte medium there to those acetate pieces and get those stuck down so yeah um, I'm going to just take and rough up that one piece of paper, the largest mat there, just because I felt like it was too flat and plain looking. So I just take my fingernail and just do a little bit of roughing up of the edge of that, the largest uh, pattern paper mat there on the, the layout. So now this is, this is where the random comes in. So some of us have been talking on the, the chat boards about um, you know, some of the random products and I do have some flamingos. I have more than this, but I didn't want to put too many on. <laughs> so anyways, I put two and then I had a, I did have a project life card with a flamingo on it too, but I couldn't really get it to work on this layout. So I decided that I was going to put those two flamingos as my random pieces here. And they don't have anything to do with the photograph, but um, they are going to work into the title a little bit that I use a little bit of a play on words here with um, when I work on the title. So you see that when I get there. But these are just a variety of different little bits and pieces from my um, hip kits. And I don't think from my stash at all. I think these are all from hip kits. But um, yeah, I'm just going to take a variety of little bits and pieces and make some little clusters around the photographed photograph. And I really like that. I like those... Um, the, the rubber uh, pieces and I think they were pink fresh too and that the one says be yourself on it and in the photograph the girls have just tried on these scarves and I was really disappointed when I saw the picture that Bailey didn't buy one of them because I thought they were really cool but she actually didn't end up bringing one home um, but I was glad that she had taken the picture because I thought it looked really cute and they had so much fun in that Grand Bazaar in um, Istanbul. Um, she was just absolutely fascinated by it and she completely loved Turkey. She, she really, really loved, loved that, uh, visiting that place for sure. So 
Um, I actually ended up adding a couple of strips of black to the layout on the top and the bottom just because I had that little bit of black in the photo mat and I wanted to work a little more black in and then you'll see that I'm going to add some black splatters at the end. That little um, button there is from Crepe Paper and it has a flamingo on it as well so I just wanted to find a spot where I could put that on the layout so I find a little gap where to um, where there's a little bit of trap space in between two elements and I just put that button down in that gap and that little camera was from Simple Stories and it was just a little sticker and I thought I would add that in there too just because I, I liked I wanted to add a little bit more of the green into the, the layout as well so and then I have that other little cluster that's got the hearts a few little heart elements there and now I'm just gonna start working on the title and so bazaar is not the same word obviously as bizarre but I often think of some of the ephemera bits and embellishments that we get in some of the collections to be a little bit bizarre and they're difficult to use and but they're fun I mean they're, they're totally fun to use and they're cute but they're they are kind of random and so that was kind of the discussion that that we were having and uh, Ileana and uh, Moira created a couple of really fun layouts with some random elements and um, so I met, was trying to meet the challenge here to use some of the, the random random things as well on this layout so that's a bazaar is what the title says and a bazaar being obviously the bazaar that they they were at in the Grand Bazaar play on the word bazaar as in the the random product so yeah I think I've discussed that enough I'm sure you get it anyway so I'm just yeah I'm just working on those stickers with a title and I'm just gonna put a little quotation around the word bizarre so that's gonna be my layout for today I've got some still shots at the end just to show you how it ends up turning out I think I actually ended up adding the from the new shine collection for Maggie Holmes a stamp at the bottom but I think maybe I, I added that after the photographs thanks so much for watching today and thanks so much for subscribing to my channel I appreciate it so much have an amazing day bye